So a sum of money of $2,010 is to be distributed among many people. The first person takes half of the sum of money. So let us write this down. After the first person takes half, 1 over 2, alright, what will be left is also half of the money. Alright, after the second person takes one third of the remaining sum, so the second person, he takes one third of the remaining, what's left, okay, will then be two thirds of the half. So we multiply by half. So this will give us, we can cancel out the two and the two, so we'll be left with one third of the total sum of money. Alright. Then after the third person takes the money, he will take one quarter of the remaining sum of money. So what's left, since he took away one quarter, what's left will be three quarters of the two, two thirds of the half. So from here we can cancel three and three. And the two and the two here can be cancelled also. So we will be left with one quarter of the total sum of money. So to see a pattern, I'll just do one more. The fourth person, he will take one fifth of the remaining sum of money. So what's left will then be four fifth times three quarters times two thirds times one over two. All right. So this will give us, we can cancel out the 4, 4, 3, 3, and the 2, 2. So we'll be left with 1 over 5 of the total sum of money. So this pattern will continue, all right, until the last person takes his share and there was $6 left. So what's left in the end, all right, was $6, which is out of the total sum of money, $2,010. So this fraction, 6 out of 2010, can be simplified into 1 over 335. So if we follow the pattern, this person must have taken 1 out of 335 of the remaining sum of money. Since these two fractions are always the same, as you can see, half, half, 1 third, 1 third, 1 quarter, 1 quarter, 1 fifth, 1 fifth. So this must also be 1 over 335. And the number of the people that takes this uh, sum of money is always one less than the de denominator. You can see here 1 and 1 over 2. 2, 1 over 3, 3 and 1 quarter, 4 and 1 over 5. So the, the person that took this sum of money must be the 334th person. So the question asks how many people shared the money? This was the last person to take the money. Since we started off from the first person up to the 334th, so there must have been 334 people who shared the money.